NASA's test discovers planetary systems second Earth-size world. Using data from NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite, scientists have identified an Earth-size world, called Toy 700 e orbiting within the habitable zone of its star at the range of distances where liquid water could occur on a planet's surface. The world is 95% Earth's size and likely rocky. Astronomers previously discovered three planets in this system, called Toy 700 b, c, and d. Planet d also orbits in the habitable zone. But scientists needed an additional year of test observations to discover Toy 700 e This is one of only a few systems with multiple, small, habitable zone planets that we know of, said Emily Gilbert, a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California who led the work. That makes the Toy 700 system an exciting prospect for additional follow-up. Planet E is about 10% smaller than Planet D, so the system also shows how additional test observations help us find smaller and smaller worlds. Gilbert presented the result on behalf of her team at the 241st meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Seattle. A paper about the newly discovered planet was accepted by the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Toy 700 is a small, Coulomb dwarf star located around 100 light years away in the southern constellation Dorado. In 2020, Gilbert and others announced the discovery of the Earth size, habitable zone Planet D, which is on a 37 day orbit, along with two other worlds. The innermost planet, Toy 700 b, is about 90% Earth's size and orbits the star every 10 days. Toy 700 c is over 2.5 times bigger than Earth and completes an orbit every 16 days. The planets are probably tidally locked, which means they spin only once per orbit such that one side always faces the star, just as one side of the Moon is always turned toward Earth. Tess monitors large swaths of the sky, called sectors, for approximately 27 days at a time. These long stairs allow the satellite to track changes in stellar brightness caused by a planet crossing in front of its star from our perspective, an event called a transit. The mission used this strategy to observe the southern sky starting in 2018, before turning to the northern sky. In 2020, it returned to the southern sky for additional observations. The extra year of data allowed the team to refine the original planet sizes, which are about 10% smaller than initial calculations. If the star was a little closer or the planet a little bigger, we might have been able to spot Toy 700 e in the first year of test data, said Ben Hoard, a doctoral candidate at the University of Maryland. College Park and a graduate researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. But the signal was so faint that we needed the additional year of transit observations to identify it. Toy 700 e which may also be tidally locked, takes 28 days to orbit its star, placing Planet E between planets C and D in the so-called optimistic habitable zone. Scientists define the optimistic habitable zone as the range of distances from a star where liquid surface water could be present at some point in a planet's history. This area extends to either side of the conservative habitable zone, the range where researchers hypothesize liquid water could exist over most of the planet's lifetime, Toy 700 d orbits in this region. Finding other systems with Earth-size worlds in this region helps planetary scientists learn more about the history of our own solar system. Follow-up study of the Toy 700 system with space and ground-based observatories is ongoing, Gilbert said, and may yield further insights into this rare system. TESS just completed its second year of northern sky observations, said Allison Youngblood 
a research astrophysicist and the test deputy project scientist at Goddard. We're looking forward to the other exciting discoveries hidden in the mission's treasure trove of data. TESS is a NASA Astrophysics Explorer mission led and operated by Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Additional partners include Northrop Grumman, based in Falls Church, Virginia NASA's Ames Research Center and California's Silicon Valley The Center for Astrophysics, Harvard Smithsonian in Cambridge, Massachusetts. MIT's Lincoln Laboratory and the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. More than a dozen universities, research institutes, and observatories worldwide are participants in the mission. Credits, NASA slash JPL Caltech slash Robert Hurt.